My people, it's your buddy Tack. Today we're going to take a look at the Husqvarna hatchet. As always, first we'll go over the technical specs. Overall length, 15 inches. The cutting surface is three and a quarter inch. The actual length of the head is five and three quarter inch. The weight of the overall hatchet is two pounds, three ounces. Handles made of hickory, which is always good to see. Uh, the steel, the only thing I know is it's a Swedish steel. Now I guess Holtzfors Brooks, I'm probably not saying that right, that Swedish company, they're the ones that actually make it for Husqvarna, which is a good thing. So this is actually like a hand forged head and the price is, this is the best part. For hand forged, this thing was $47. Give you a couple close ups of this. It's actually a really nice little hatchet. I mean, very well done. Nice shape to the handle. Nice little sheep's foot or whatever you call that, a little hole in there, which I never use them, but hey, there you go. Ah, don't like that. I don't like stamping, you know. Ah, and that, the warning, that's even worse. This I could live with. This, ah, I can't, man, I can't do that. Uh, if you guys are interested, I was going to make a little video on how to pimp your hatchet. So I already did. I have a second one of these and I already did it to that. So I can do a bit of doing it to this as well. That's if you guys are interested. So there's your, they use a round wedge for these, which, hey, whatever. I mean, just very well done. I mean, I don't know if I can get you to see this. Hold on. I mean, the edge looks awesome. Feels very sharp. Let's see if I can get you. Uh, it's hard to. There you go, that's focusing a little bit. But yeah, it looks like a very fine edge, good shape. So this should split and chop very well. So let's get outside and test this thing. So as always, we'll check out the initial sharpness first. Just dead stick, dead white pine. Yeah, if this thing works out good, this thing is probably gonna be one of the best bang for buck hatchets out there this was only two bucks more than that steel hatchet i used initial sharpness seems pretty darn good yeah not too bad another thing i like about this is the crown or whatever you call this see how it's I don't know if you see how it's nice and flared so it helps hold it in there i mean they did a really good job with this next let's do the 10 chop test so we're going to just do this one-handed. It is a hatchet, so let's do it. Now my shots weren't very good, but that's a pretty deep crevasse. And that's what she said. Close up of the destruction. Like I said, my shots were pretty terrible. But that's very deep, some very clean cuts you can tell by the edge. Just for fun, we'll see how this sinks in going this way. This is a pretty dead log, but hey, what the hell. Oh, holy crap. Wow. Damn. <clears throat> Excuse me, that really buried it. Wow, holy sh... Beep. Man, we might have to find something a little bit more solid. This thing is just destroying this tree. Damn. Okay, we got to test it on something a little bit tougher than that. That was way too wimpy. Uh, this is, it's not sugar. Yeah, this is sugar maple. So this is hard maple. It's still up. This is a tree I got to cut later. Not this big monster, but this little uh, wolf tree. So let's just take a couple swings at it. See what it does. Biting good. If my aim was a little better. She's biting nice. Oh, I can see the water starting. Close up of the destruction. Oh, look at it dripping. Yep, that's maple syrup right there, baby. I'm gonna be doing that very soon too. Actually this weekend. So tomorrow, we're gonna start tapping trees. But yeah, that's some very clean cuts. Just terrible aim. Okay, we're gonna go with the grain again. 
This is some more sugar maple, more hard maple. We'll just go with the grain, see how it bites into this. Because that white pine, it was just too easy. See how far it's going in, not bad. Oh yeah. Man, one thing I love about wood, wood doesn't really seem to give you shock. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the plastic handles or the fiberglass. No, she's biting well. Good geometry. Now, I'm not going to really try to split this. I'm just going to see how far it sinks in. Now, this is white cedar. Oh, shit. I guess I am going to split it. What the heck, right? I didn't think it was going to just go like that. Wow. Bang. Oh, my God. All right. Man, this thing is pretty cool. 45 bucks, 47 bucks. And that was a lot easier than I thought. Holy crap. Figures I didn't swing that one that hard. She bites right in though. Next we're going to try something a little tougher. Black cherry. Decent sized piece as you can see. Uh, seasoned for a year. Okay, yeah, that's a lot tougher. No slippage, nothing like that. It doesn't feel like it's gonna come out of my hand. She's biting good. Yeah, let's flip this thing over. Shall we? If I can get a hold of it. Ooh. Almost fell on the ice. Oh, she bites well, man. Berries right in. Give her another little flip. A lot bigger piece than you'd want to do with a hatchet, but hey, it's a test. And that's what we're here for. A lot of people told me about this thing. Damn. Pretty nice. So what do I think? The little Husqvarna hatchet. This thing is awesome. I was right. I mean, bang for the buck. This is probably the best hatchet I've ever used. Let's check and see if it's got any wiggles, shall we? Nothing. Man, 47 bucks. This thing is freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, I hate the warnings thingies and stuff, but we'll get rid of that. But bang for the buck, this thing is awesome. I mean, check out the grind. No nicks, no nothing, no rolling. Still pretty sharp. You know, it ain't the sharpest thing, but... You've seen what it did, it worked very well. Do I think it's as good as a Gransford Brooks? No, but they're three times the price of this, at least. For the money, this is probably the best hatchet I've used for the price. So in the end, would I recommend it? Well, heck yeah, of course. This thing's freaking awesome. Uh, one to 10 for a hatchet, I at least gotta give it an eight, man. Uh, the only way it would be better is I don't know if it was maybe sharper, or better had a better sheep's, sheep's foot on it. It's good, but it could be a little bit more flared. And the shape is really good. I don't know, there's not much more. Maybe eight and a half. This thing is pretty awesome. Well, as always, it's good to see you guys. And until the next time we meet.